Hello, my name is Jonathan Doyle and today I will be showing you our Drive Assistant PI version and how to use one of our new linear motion modules in Drive Assistant version 3.3.4. During this video I'll be using a laptop with a Duncan Motor and PI starter kit connected to an 11 size servo tube motor with integrated electronics. When you open the new version of Drive Assistant, you will see a splash screen with a selection of 17 different modules that can be loaded to our brushless integrated electronic or linear integrated electronic motors. Today, I'll be opening and using the module 14 positions with separate profiles. The functionality of all the modules is fairly similar. Once you double click the module, it'll open in a new window. Once the window opens, the first thing that is needed by the module is the configuration of the device that you'll be loading the program to. In this case, we have an SCA1108, which I select from the drop-down list under the Device section of the module. Once this is done, you click Create New Settings button. The next step is to give the new program a name, one that can identify this specific setting the next time you wish to use it. Please note you can have multiple settings files for each module. Each of these files are accessible under the Settings drop-down list. Once the settings file is created, you can now see all the parameters which can be edited and loaded to the motor. You have options for changing the direction of motion, the type of acceleration ramp, and what happens to the power stage after the move or after a stop signal. The homing method can be selected, reference switch, limit switch, or hard stop. Within this, the velocity of the home can be set, along with the homing current and any offset for the home position. If homing to a limit switch, the motor will always back away from the limit switch at a much lower speed, looking for the edge of the switch for final home position. The peak and continuous currents can also be controlled. Each motor has different continuous and peak currents, and damage can be caused to the motor if these values are set too high. Please verify the currents in the specification of the individual motor that you are currently using. Peak current is typically only available for two seconds for most integrated electronic solutions. Please check your manual for specific motor information. The final component that needs to be set up are the positions. If the motor is free to move, then you can verify the positions manually by setting the motor in its home position and moving the rod by hand. You can view the changing position counts on the actual data field in the software. In this instance, I have a 168mm rod, and you can see here that this can easily be verified and used to set up the motor. Up to 14 distinct positions can be set within the motor over the rod length using different acceleration, deceleration and velocities. The same position can be set with different values for acceleration or velocity. Not all the positions have to be used. Once this is configured, you're able to load the settings to the motor using the load to motor button. Once the settings file is completed and loaded to the electronics of the motor, you can then disconnect the laptop and the motor can be controlled with digital signals. The digital logic is explained on the initial splash screen or under the help drop-down. Wiring information for the motors can also be found under the help menu. For further information on our products or to download the Drive Assistant software, please see our website at www.duncanmotoring.com.